All right, this is going to be a controversial video, so um, buckle up, because I'm going to tell you the truth on how to improve yourself. You are on self-improvement right now, and you're watching all these self-improvement YouTubers. What does self-improvement actually mean? Like, ask yourself this right now. What does self-improvement actually mean to you? And you won't give an honest answer. You won't give an answer that's honest to you. You'll just say, um, you'll just give an answer that some other self-improvement YouTuber told you. So you'll be like, oh, okay, it's um, to get to 12% body fat, to be jacked, be, go to the gym every day, um, get $10,000 a month, uh, you know, get get a girlfriend, get, get five girlfriends at the same time, f like fuck five women at the same time. You're gonna give all, all of these definitions, but these aren't the definitions that are true to you. You, it's self-improvement is how you improve yourself. It is how you improve yourself and become 1% better than you were yesterday. Now, if you want to improve yourself and you want self-improvement to work for you, you can't just go by the measures that all these other self-improvement YouTubers are telling you, including me. Like, I'm, I'm basically a part of, like, me telling you what you should do is me being a part of all the other self-improvement YouTubers telling you what to do. Like, oh, work out every day, talk to girls, um, you know, earn a thousand dollars a month, ten thousand dollars a month. They're all telling you this shit, but what if that doesn't, what if that's not how you, imp you need to improve yourself? That's just them saying it. That, that's, that's their definition, that's their measure of self-improvement. But what is your measure of self-improvement? Self you can't just say the same, I mean, you can have the same things as everyone else, but you can't just say, oh, I want to get girls because they're saying you want to get girls. You need, a, you need to identify your biggest problem right now to improve it. You can't just, you know, listen to all these other YouTubers telling you like, oh, okay, yeah, this is, um, yeah, get women, get money, get, get jacked. Like, you need to understand what is the biggest problem with you? What is the thing that you struggle with the most in your life that is negatively impacting like everything that you do from like, you know, just like going to school or going to work. Like what is the biggest like thing that's holding you back? And then you need to improve on that. If there's like, if you are perfectly fine, if your body or if your mind is perfectly fine without getting women, then what's the point? You, you don't need to do that. These people are telling you, um, get women, get women, get women. But it, what if you don't need to, what if you, yeah, like your mind what if you you don't need women what if you, that's not the biggest purpose of your life it's just to fuck as many women as possible all these red red pill youtubers will tell you oh yeah you, you know fuck as many women as you can cheat on it cheat on your wife um get ten a hundred thousand dollars a month but that's that that's them don't listen to them it's, it's self-improvement it's not listen to them improvement it's self-improvement you have to identify your biggest problem to to fix it, to solve it. And if you don't identify the biggest problem with you and you just, you know, you're just listening to the crowd and you're just like, oh yeah, let me just improve on this thing that this random YouTuber told me and not, you just go in and blindly. It sounds like common sense, but people literally do this. And I was a part of it, not, I'm not gonna lie. Like at the start of this year, when I just got uh, introduced to self-improvement, I only did self-improvement because all these YouTubers told me, oh yeah, you'll get this if you do this. And I was like, okay, yeah, sweet, let's just do it now. But I've realized now that even if, even though I've done all that stuff, it's not really changed too much. Like, it's nice, but it's not really impacted me like that greatly. And it's not been like life-changing or like anything that they'd said. But once I started focusing on the problems that I really have and fixed those, then that's when that's when life like started getting easier and that's when I started getting to more flow states and shit so you need to identify your problem and honestly like this this whole self-improvement space is a joke I'm gonna be honest with you um it sounds controversial but like a chance though every single self-improvement youtuber that you're watching is manipulating you they're they're basically telling you to do shit I'm, and I'm not saying like I'm very grateful for the self-improvement space it is I would be nowhere near, like, you know, the happiness and, like, the confidence I'm at right now without it. But you have to do some critical thinking sometimes. Like, you can't just listen to everything that you hear online. You have to do some critical thinking. And 
you have to identify your problem and you can't just be keep you can't just keep listening to them because there's like a desire in your mind and it's getting obstructed and distracted with all these other like things that everyone's telling you you need to focus on yourself you need to you know do some introspectiveness just figure out like what am i actually struggling with and then fix that rather than listening to everything that you hear online